Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to downgrade basically any app, any stock app for that matter, on your device on really any iPhone. Now you do have to be jailbroken so keep that in mind. You will need to have Cydia or Cilio. So if you don't have it or you want to know how to get it, the first two links down in the description will take you to tutorials on how to install it. So figure out which iPhone you have and then click the link corresponding to your iPhone and then pretty much go from there. Now you might want to downgrade an app just in case you know you have an app that you just updated and it's buggy or it has a bunch of issues and you don't want to deal with it. Snapchat is a huge one, but Facebook, Instagram, all these ones people complain about and they're like, oh, I want to downgrade. So here's exactly how to do it. So once you are jailbroken, what you want to do is click that third link down in the description and it'll take you to a website like this. It'll basically take you to Koki Pokes website. And all you want to do here is click that little Cydia tab, which is right here. So you can go and click that. But you can also just copy and paste that link into sources. So once it says open in Cydia, you want to go and click open and a little install button will come up. Now I already have it installed. So I can go and click continue the source, but you will see an install button. You just want to click install the source and it'll go ahead and install it for you. That's a super easy process. You don't really just need to click one button, that's it. So once you're here and you have the source fully installed, all you wanna do is click that search button on the side and you wanna type in App Store and you want to find the one that says App Store Plus Plus. So the one that's right here, or as you can see, I already have it installed. You wanna go ahead and tap it. You want to go ahead and read through it if you want to. And all you wanna do is click install, which should be up here and then click install and it'll take a second for it to install through. So you're just installing this specific tweak. Now here's the thing, as of right now, it only says iOS 11 to iOS 13.5, but I am running this on iOS 13.5.1 and it's working perfectly fine. So I don't know what, maybe they didn't update this yet, but once you have it installed, then you're pretty much good to go. And just for you guys, I'll go ahead and reinstall it so I can just match up with you guys. So once it's installed, just restart the springboard. And now all you need to do is make your way over to the app store. A little pop-up should come up. But since I already had it installed, maybe it didn't. But it'll go ahead and tell you to like download the logs or something. You just want to click accept. And then maybe another pop-up will come up. You click cancel or something. And then at this point, all you want to do is search up the specific app that you want to downgrade. So in this case, I want to downgrade Snapchat. So I'll go ahead and click Snapchat and search it up. I'll go ahead and tap on the specific one. Now, all you need to do in order to downgrade the app is you see where the update button is. All you need to do is just hold that down. And once you hold it down, a little pop-up will come up from the bottom. And a couple of things will come up. It'll say upgrade, downgrade, manual install, and block updates. Now the specific thing we want to do is upgrade or downgrade. So all we want to do is click on upgrade or downgrade. And pretty much if you guys don't know, the App Store keeps kind of a backlog of a certain amount of updates that, that the certain software has had. Now you can't go like all the way back. As you can see, it only allows me to go down here. And it might not even let me install this one. But if you go all the way up, the very top one is the most recent one. So 10.86, whatever this top one is. That is the most recent update from Snapchat. So let's say I'm having an issue with that specific version of Snapchat. All I would have to do is go to the one before that, even the one before that, but we'll just go to this one for example. And I'll just have to tap it and I'll go ahead and click install and it'll ask me. And once you type in the password, it'll go and click done. And you'll see that it doesn't immediately start installing here, which is weird. You have to like hop out and then you'll see that Snapchat is installing, at least it should have been. Maybe I canceled out. Okay, just tried it again and I'll go and click yes here. And you guys will see, as you can see, it just restarted and it is loading right now. So it took a little bit of, you know, sometimes you got to give it a couple tries. But as you can see, it will eventually downgrade this specific Snapchat to the one that I wanted over there. You can do the same thing if you want to block the future updates. You just have to hold down that specific one, click block updates, and pretty much go from there. And you can do this with any app through the App Store. So you can do this with Facebook, you can do this with Twitter. Whichever ones are giving you issues, you can downgrade them. As long as you are jailbroken, as long as you follow this tutorial to a T. As you can see, it just downloaded. I can go and click it. And it does open and I can go ahead and log in and do whatever I want to from here. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.